Oh yeah. A little short video. I come out this morning. I thought I'll mount Freddy to the bonnet. Don't actually like it on there. Now I've made the damn thing. <laughs> uh, I won't say what it reminds me of, but it isn't a good look. And I'm used to seeing it hanging off the winch. I don't like it there. I don't think it look right. Look like a big giant bogey hanging off the front of my grill. Nah, for me anyway, nah. So uh, I kind of decided to put it back where it was, but where it was before was on a bull bar. I don't have that bull bar and have no intentions in putting that bull bar back on. Don't need it. So I thought, right, it's time we looked at this winch because I'll mount it to that. And we'll come on to that in a minute. My winch. Really, really, really crap build quality on this. The LEDs in the front, there's two blue LEDs. I don't actually know what they're there for, other than to indicate the power is on. But, they fell apart. What's left of them? Huh. Just rotted. Two of them gone disintegrated so i've got a stack of these orange ones orange is probably better on the front than blue anyway blue is emergency services and blue and red on the front there's two colors i'd never use if i could help it so i was going to put the rubber grommet in but it's too big this just about fits and it has a little notch there so do you know what i'm going to drill them out and i'm going to put two of them in there solder them up together and put them on the correct configuration uh, they both come on at the same time so and they're quite bright and they do put a little beam out so if i'm off-roading in the evening they should illuminate the front up a little bit um, which is why i put black paint over them on my skull because they were just too bright and uh, this originally was going to be quite high up and i didn't want to beam it into the mirror of a car in front but now we're not going with that. I might scrape that off, but we'll see. Because um, that's now going on the front of the bull bar. I mean, I could wire them in, block them off completely and just put that winch, put that on there and have that. I could do that. It's something that could be done. But I kind of want that on when the headlights are on. If I'm honest. Uh, although I'm thinking maybe daylight as well, as soon as the ignition switch comes on, they come on. <laughs> I did some silver paint as well, like I said, I was gonna do, I was just waiting for the wife to get back from shops. She's got me some uh, lacquer. I wanna just put some more paint over that briefly just to get rid of the red stains and stuff. And I think we'll be there with that. Hmm, anyway. So I'm in the position now of having to clean this all up and that's pretty much what's inside one of these it's got a remote control that comes with it um, but that remote control has been in there quite a few years look at that, look at that. right that battery is completely shot so uh, I don't know if that part of it works which is this piece here I assume I could get my hands on an aftermarket one if I wanted but I don't know. Right, so we've got a cold wire and we've got a, a live. That comes off the switch, main power. This earth here comes from inside here somewhere. And I've basically got to put two LEDs in there and then I've just got to tag them together onto this and then put everything back together. Um, I was going to remove all the switches, but they're proving stubborn. And I've noticed there's a bit of rust in that one as well. And I'm now a bit worried of wrecking them. I should really take them all off and rewire the whole lot up. That's what I should do because this is terrible. I don't know who Terra Firma are, but I am so not impressed with this garbage. I've already had the winch apart once already because the rope came off, it wasn't put on properly. 
think they say in the instructions you've got to have about eight wines around the winch as you empty it something like that this bar was bent i got bent somewhere along the line it's very flappy as well so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to move this box to here and i'm going to put freddie on another bracket off here and put him on top in the middle that's where he's going and then at some point i've got to pull it all apart again and paint all of this up i'm just trying to find the paint this is a rippled effect i'm assuming it's powder coat so i want to try and replace this with some sort of rippled effect and then i want to get all these screws out and replace them with some stainless washers because the washers have all rusted up you see what i'm saying shit bill quality you pay all that money and that's what they do this has been sitting on that truck about three years but but i made an error on my timeline i've been building this for close to six years if you go back to the very first videos i had a separate chassis i was making in the shed about six years ago and i actually did have nearly a full bodywork built but the bloody thing was just flexing all over the place and i just felt that it wouldn't go through an iva test so i just thought can't be losses cut it up that's what i do when i get peed off of something i cut it up this so far is going okay so i have no intentions in cutting this up by the way um if i did if i got to that point i'd probably just push it out front and put it on ebay as a finishing needs finishing so yeah as i said it ain't going on the bonnet i don't even want to cut a hole in it now anyway it takes a lot of the strength away the other problem I've got is if I go off road and water gets over the bonnet, it's going to find its way in that hole quicker than it would any other way. We don't really want that. All right, that one's a bit loose, but that was because I had trouble with it. All right, now we need to cut the backs of the down because I suspect they're going to be too far out. There you go, put some sealant in there. I hate the stuff, but. inside the winch. Look, where's the other, there it is. Right, I put a little bit of sealant on the end of the screwdriver to hold the screw. That's black and yellow from the light. That's black and yellow from the light. That's the F from the power. And this is the live from the power. There we go. Right, so that's the earth. That's the main power. These are my two power leads. Now I've got to wire them all up. Excuse me a moment. Right.
Apologies, battery died. And I have now finished. I had to charge the battery up. There you go. With an added bonus, CB Aerial, which I needed on the front as well. I just for forgot all about it. A few weeks ago I was thinking about that. Might have mentioned it in the video, I might have deleted it, I don't know which, but it was a case of where the hell am I going to pull it? Because uh, I really didn't know. And then I looked at this bracket and I thought, you know what? It will look alright next to that, but it does take away a little bit of that scale, I'm afraid. But they're good, so they're good markers on the front of the 4x4s, military been doing them for a while now I think, that's where I first saw one, so oh, it's incredibly hot all of a sudden, yeah that will go on there and I think that's all going to work out relatively well, so there you go guys, what I'll do is I'll quickly lower it, if I can do it without poking my eyes out, that seems to be the fashion for me at the moment, shitting my eyes, um, I'll just quickly rest it on there. Good. Now, by moving the power box to the left, it means I'm going to get a bit more airflow um, into that radiator, especially the fact that I've laid it down as well. Because before, these lights were facing that way, and the back was up in the air. Uh, I thought that would look cooler that way, but actually looks better this way. The aerial is now on. There is room to bend that bracket if I have to. Um, we'll wire the skull up to the ignition switch that will be permanently on regardless of what time of day and uh, there you go I think I think that's going to look really good when it goes on so yeah I'm quite happy with that um, don't know if you see any possible potential flaws in the ideas if you do let me know if there's something i can put on top of that aerial so i don't poke people's eyes out let me know because at the moment i don't know it's just a sharp old piece of metal on there really i would like something up there so again i think we will be bending that bracket up a little bit when we get closer to the time i get on the road I do have a second CB aerial as well, mag mount, that came with a CB I bought the other day, which is here. That needs wire brushing back and cleaning. So if that one fails to work, I have a second one. I know that works because I was listening to people the other day. So anyway, look, it was a short one, very short one. Just little tiny touch-ups to the idea of what I'm doing. Anyway, with that in mind, I'll see you next week when we start the floors. I still ain't got anything done on that. Bye.